y'all get to go on the floor there and uh yeah, hopefully, hopefully everything looks okay. I'll try to do my best here, but I wanted to bring you guys some content uh, because today, hopefully I'm in frame. Wide angle mode, lifesaver, right? So first and foremost, appreciate you all for tuning in to today's video. It's a special one. Uh, we, or I, decided to go out and finally purchase everything, almost, everything I need to 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 be complete for a long time right uh there was a couple tools that i felt like i was missing out on a couple tools where i felt like man this could really come in handy and i could see situations where i could use these tools 100 percent some of these tools will be replacing some of my tools that i already have so we're going to call that an upgrade uh and then as far as the tools that I'm upgrading I'm thinking I might just make those tools like tools for home or just tools to, to keep in the car because um, you never know when you might need them um, nonetheless I'll let you know what tools were upgraded and everything that is new I know you're all on the ground you kind of can see the tools here scattered around um, but I will show you each tool individually uh, as well as a couple of separate miscellaneous pickups that, um, one, we've got some WD-40 over here, a couple different styles uh, that I've personally never tried, so I'm curious to see how well uh, that stuff performs. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later, but yeah, thanks again uh, if you're just now tuning in, and I appreciate you clicking on this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave without leaving a like. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, you can always drop that in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to chat with you guys down there. And if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to subscribe. It's free. Uh, I try to mention that every video. So all of the support is very much appreciated. It keeps me going, making content like this for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our uh, new tool haul that we kind of have here. So first things first, I'm just going to make this one uh, super simple start off. And that is a U.S. General magnetic hook. This is in the slate gray color. Uh, they have a bunch of different colors to choose from. Uh, but the big thing here is that this is a non-marring magnet uh, to obviously prevent scratches, right? Uh, it's magnetic. And it has up to a 25-pound pull force. I'm curious to know if it can hold more than 25 pounds. The biggest thing I really got these for, and it's kind of stupid considering the fact that these guys right now are coming in at $6.99, uh, was just to hold keys, uh, like customer vehicles. Obviously, I work at a dealership. I have, you know, multiple keys at a time, and uh, I've just been kind of leaving them organized on my toolbox. But I've seen some other technicians have hooks where they'll just hook the keys and then kind of keep everything organized in that manner. And I was like, man, let me go ahead and get two of these. And if I need be, I could have, you know, two keys here, two keys here. I could have multiple keys on this thing, actually, because obviously it holds up to 25 pounds. I, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining. It says pull force, but we're just going to say that it can hold up to 25 pounds, maybe even more. We might test that, but... Um, we got two of these just so if I say I've got three keys, right? Well, one's going to be in the car while I'm working on it. And then the other two can be hanging up here. Uh, everything's organized. Everything has a, a place. Um, and yeah, pretty, pretty simple, self-explanatory. Um, but these will most likely go on the side of my refrigerator at work because it's just easy access. Uh, if you haven't seen the video of my complete tool haul, uh, definitely go give that a look as you'll see, you know, my toolboxes, all of my tools. Uh, I've got a table with a fan and uh, a mini fridge, especially during the su hot summer days. Uh, highly, highly recommend having a mini fridge as a technician. So you're not, uh, one, having to constantly leave the workspace to go get a drink and keep all your drinks right there with you easy access so getting a little sidetracked there but 
first thing was the U.S. General Magnetic Hooks. And yeah, I'm excited to put these to use and um, see how much easier it makes my life, I guess you could say. So kind of set this off to the side over here. Uh, the next thing, since it's just right here, we'll go ahead and show you. We decided to uh, go ahead and pick up the Icon 48 ounce soft face dead blow hammer, this monstrosity. I do currently have the 16 ounce dead blow hammer from Icon and I love it, but I wanted something uh, with a little bit more weight, a little bit more force, um, especially when it's coming down to like say tackling, uh, trying to bust say like a ball joint loose, pop it, right? But instead of using a separator, you just want to smack the heck out of the joint or the joint that it's connected to without damaging the hell out of it, right? So like if it's, I know I'm going off on a little sidetrack here. I tend to do that often, but just so you guys understand, soft face will help protect whatever you're hitting a little bit more compared to using like a, a metal uh, or steel hammer um, to where that will put some damage on the component that you're smacking this will uh, prevent a lot of that damage from happening uh, and more so attack whatever it is that you're trying to uh, you know either one break apart from each other or get loose uh, however you see fit but like I said I do have the 16 ounce soft face dead blow hammer already and I do like that one but my hammer collection was looking it's still looking weak I've only got three hammers. Now I have five. We have the 48 ounce, which is nice. That's the biggest one Icon has to offer. And then we went ahead and got the 24 ounce. So as of now, I officially have the 16 ounce, the 24 ounce, and the 48 ounce soft face dead blow hammers from Icon. Obviously you can't go wrong when it comes to uh, lifetime guarantee. So if these were to ever fail, I could easily just take them back to Harbor Freight, exchange it for a brand new one. That to me is just, it's insane. I'm so glad that that is the thing because having a tool break on you and then not having any warranty to where you'd have to go back and either buy it again or go buy a different one. We're trying to save money out here, right? It, all in all, it's an investment and eventually, you know, it will make its, you know, return on investment. But for now, we want it to last as long as possible. And if it does break, it's great that it does have a lifetime warranty. So uh, now we officially have five hammers. We've got the 16, the 24, and the 48 ounce dead blow hammers from Icon. And then we have a eight, I believe an eight ounce ball peen hammer from Proto and a three pound Fat Max hammer from Stanley, which is just another brand from Proto or vice versa. Anyways, uh, if you haven't seen those, Check out the tool haul video. Uh, you'll see everything there. But moving on, let's see. What do we want to do next? We can do the pliers. So I've already got the a couple pliers, uh, but this right here, the, these remaining four pliers, um, three of them pliers, one cutters, uh, completes the plier slash, I'll just call them all pliers. It completes the entire icon set for me. And it gives me a peace of mind knowing that all of my pliers uh, have a lifetime warranty on them. So once again, if they do break, then uh, easy exchange. Uh, and another thing too is, uh, where was I going with that? I was going somewhere with that and I lost train of thought. Man, that's crazy. Oh, you get the lifetime warranty and then... The nice thing is that this is also an upgrade for me over the current tools that I do have. Some of these are brand new, never never have had a, a, a style like, you know, one of these tools before. Uh, two of them are replacing tools that I currently do have from a tool company called Quinn, which you can also find at Harbor Freight. Uh, but Icon has kind of always proven to be the uh, snap-on of Harbor Freight and offer the best quality of tools. So... I'm gonna put two of these, we'll show you these first so you get an idea of what I will be upgrading and replacing. Uh, the first thing is going to be the diagonal cutters. Call these guys dikes, cutters. Um, so I've got the Quinn version of this. 
I don't know if the Quinn version I have is a seven inch, uh, but needless to say, we went ahead and upgraded to the Icon. Quinn does also offer a lifetime guarantee. So if you're asking why I would upgrade to Icon, um, the overall performance of the tool, uh, you know, is the blade on this diagonal cutter sharper than the one on Quinn? I have already had to have replaced one of the cutters from Quinn that I do own uh, because the tip of the cutter itself uh, broke off while I was trying to cut a uh, washer off of a drain bolt because those suckers get stuck on those drain bolts. But nonetheless, the diagonal cutter, 7 inch from Icon. Once again, lifetime warranty. This is going to be an upgrade over the diagonal cutter that I have from Quinn Tools. Uh, and I'm excited to use this and excited to see if it performs better or if it doesn't. Maybe I might do a uh, this versus that on, uh, on the cutters. Uh, the second thing that I went ahead and upgraded over something I already currently have is uh, your basic needle nose pliers. We have an 8 inch here. I can't say what the uh, length of the needle nose pliers I have from Quinn. Those are the two other tools that I have from Quinn. But we decided to upgrade both the cutter and the pliers to Icon for the higher quality. And, um, you know, once again, it, it comes with a lifetime warranty. You can't complain. And the nice thing, too, is, you know, if I need the cutters here at home for some reason or if I need the pliers here at home for some reason, I'll have them here. So I think that's kind of nice. But... These look good. Um, Icon obviously offers very nice uh, tefers uh, for grip. If I look here on the back, longer contoured handled with improved joint location for higher leverage and increased comfort. Made with forged steel with higher alloy content for long tool life. Tapered tips for better accessibility. Natural clear coat finish for lasting durability and dipped cushion grip for added comfort and greater pulling power. So, and I do agree, I do really like the grips um, on these pliers. I do have the 45 degree long reach pliers from Icon that I do really like. And I also have the adjustable uh, wrench plier uh, from Icon as well that I have used quite a lot actually. And I do like that. So I'm excited to give these a try. And once again, maybe these will outperform the Quinn pliers that I currently have so the next thing is kind of going back uh, I did mention that I do have the 45 degree long reach pliers uh, but I do not have the straight long reach pliers well I do now but uh, the 45 degree pliers uh, long reach pliers from Icon is a godsend that thing is awesome um, but when I saw these I was like man I think these could also be really handy um, there's some, you know, not trying to come up with side stories. I'm sure you guys only care about, you know, what I'm showing you, but, um, I'm sure that when I was thinking of, when I, when I was looking at this, I was like, man, I could see myself using these in, uh, some certain situations. So that's why I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Once again, I can't say it enough. Icon lifetime guarantee. If any of these tools go out on me, I can go to a Harbor Freight. I've literally got three of them so close to me. And uh, go exchange it for a brand new one. How awesome is that? And then the last one, I think uh, this one was the most interesting to me. And I'm curious to know if it actually could help me in a very specific situation. And that would be on a rounded adjustment. Uh, the round, rounded adjustment rod for the tie rod for doing uh, toe adjustment on vehicles. Some of the vehicles that I have lined, unfortunately, have had rounded off rods in order to adjust the toe, right? So I have had to try my adjustable uh, pliers, wrench pliers. Um, and that's kind of work sometimes. Sometimes it's so stubborn on there that you're just not going to be able to get it to uh, grip and move. Uh, the other part to that story is that the nut on there that kind of locks everything in place is so just either one rusted on there or is seized that it's extremely hard to try to break loose so that you can actually start adjusting that rod to adjust the toe. 
Um, but that's why I went ahead and picked up these multi-slip joint parrot nose pliers. I'm sure I'll find many other uses for this tool. But that was the one thing that did come to mind, uh, was can this tool grip enough on a tie rod to where I can grab on a rounded surface and get enough grip to um, make an adjustment, you know? Obviously, you wanna, you know, if, if your tie rod adjustment rod is, uh, is rounded, you obviously want to get that replaced as soon as possible. Um, it's not a good thing. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, obviously I'm just trying to find ways to get around it without having to replace it because some customers just don't want to buy shit, right? So that's why we have these. And I'm excited to test these out when the time comes. But once again, this is the multi-slip joint parrot nose pliers 10 inch and they are adjustable which is very nice. So excited about these as well. Uh, moving on, I haven't bought these in a long time. Just a quick one. These are the Hardy uh, nine mil thickness nitrile disposable gloves. I used to buy these a lot when I first started off as a technician and then I kind of strayed away from them. One, because of how often I was using these. Two, how often they would kind of like uh, rip on me and it's like, man, now I gotta go get a new pair and there's only 50 gloves in here I believe right there should only be yeah there's only 50 gloves in here and uh, you know it goes quick as, a, as an automotive technician so I was like you know what let me I haven't used them in so long that I was like let me pick back up on it let me protect these delicate hands um, from getting you know oils and, and lubricants and all that stuff all over because that's what I've been doing the past few months and uh I have constantly gone back and forth uh, from the wash, uh, wash, to, uh, wash sink to clean my hands, and uh, I was like, you know what? Let me just let me get these again. Let me spend the like fifteen dollars for these damn gloves, uh, and, and and see if I have a better experience with them. Because the first go around, I was running through them like crazy, and uh, I was fed up with spending so much money on gloves, but. Look where we're back at again, buying gloves. <laughs> but throwing that off to the side, I needed to, this is the next deal right here. It's got a detail brush set. Uh, this is going to come in handy, especially for when I am doing brake jobs. Uh, a lot of the um, buildup that occurs around the caliper, the caliper bracket, um, all of that stuff, mostly for me personally relating to brakes. Uh, I want to try to clean up as much of that as I can before installing the new pads. And uh, I did have a set of these. Unfortunately, two of them were stolen. And I only had one left. And the one that I had left was extremely beat up. I believe this was only like $3 at Harbor Freight. Get a nice, I guess, kind of closer look there. Three-piece detail brush set. You get a steel, brass, and nylon brush. And uh, for three bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. Uh, whatever makes the job a little bit easier, right? So that's a quick one. Zip ties. Let me tell you something. You can't ever go wrong with zip ties. I absolutely love zip ties. I think they are a godsend uh, for when you're in a pickle. And, uh, you know, you just need to either one, organize something, or two, make one thing connect to another. And that's via zip tie because maybe you can't get a screw or a bolt through whatever it is you're trying to connect. And your only option is this. Why well, go through a lot of these and a lot of other technicians tend to take these from me because they don't want to buy their own. And uh, honestly, they're, they're, they're not super expensive. I think for a hundred piece right here, I believe it was maybe three, four dollars, I believe. Um, like I said, you can't go wrong. The amount of splash shields that I have worked on customer vehicles from that have came in zip tied. Well, I'm going to try to obviously recommend, you know, replacing the shield, replacing whatever else around it I need to in order to make it look brand new. And one, 
one is brand new, two is for it to actually function properly. Uh, but they don't ever buy that shit, so that's why I keep spare zip ties, because obviously I gotta cut it and, you know, move the splash shield, do an oil change or transmission flush or whatever I need to do down there, right? How am I gonna put it back up? More zip ties. Awesome stuff, love zip ties, can't ever go wrong. Saving the three icons, uh, best for last. You're getting free, free feet picks here. Holy moly. Um, let's go into the WD-40 real quick. So these two uh, products from WD-40, I have personally never tried. Obviously, I have used regular WD-40. I do have WD-40 white lithium grease, uh, and that has been very good to me. I do like that. Um, but I did find that there was a WD-40 penetrant, fast acting, frees corroded nuts and bolts, penetrates rust, works on contact. So this I will definitely be using just to make a scenario for you will be for instance, the tie rod ends where you would make the adjustment for the toe of your vehicle. Uh, because that nut on there can obviously get rusted on the threads and I've tried regular WD-40, I've tried PB Blaster, and uh, it just won't budge. It is so darn rusted on there. I've tried torching the damn thing, and uh, it still wouldn't move. So we're going to give the WD-40 Specialist Penetrant Fast Acting a shot the next time we come across one of those situations and see if uh, this is real or if it's a gimmick. And that's going to go for the same other, uh, same WD-40 over here, which I found, which was the WD-40 WD Specialist Silicone Quick Drying. This guy is waterproof, protects against rust, and you can use it on multiple surface. And on the back here, it says that it is ideal for use on cables, pulleys, guide rails, valves, linkages, hinges, locks, and more. So if you got a squeaky door hinge, this is what you would use right here. Um, in my case, I find some vehicles where uh, the windows, the door windows going up and down, uh, it sounds, you know, like it's, it's, it's not pleasant. So as a free charge from me, let me help you out since I'm the technician. Uh, and let me apply some of this to your window so that way it's got smooth operation. Um, obviously, I'll test this, um, you know, myself before actually using it on other people's vehicles. But I saw this. I was interested in it. Is it real? Is it a gimmick? I don't know. But nonetheless, I did want to uh, pick it up and give it a try and, you know, give my honest opinion and review on it. Uh, WD-40 has been around forever. Um, I can only imagine that they're still around for, you know, the same reason. And that's because they make, you know, quality lubricants. So setting off to the side, we got three more things from Icon. Man, oh man. Uh, one of these is actually replacing uh, a set that I already do have. It's kind of a mixed set, but uh, that, uh, this is what's going to be replacing my current pick set, which is the Icon professional precision soft grip soft grip pick and hook set you get a 90 degree pick a straight edge pick 45 degree angle pick and a hook pick i don't ever really use picks to be honest with you uh there have been instances where i've used the ones that i do currently have not these ones um one of them broke no warranty it was uh milwaukee actually I have Milwaukee and I have uh, Husky. Husky might have a warranty on them, but I kind of said screw trying to deal with that and Home Depot and all that. Let me just pick up a brand new set from Icon, lifetime warranty. If anything happens, I can just go straight over to Harbor Freight, make my life a little bit easier, right? So that's what we went ahead and did. Uh, most of the time I'm using the pick is when it comes to like O-rings which kind of sounds also, you know, might sound a little scary, but it's more so getting the O-ring off than putting it on. Putting the O-ring on is a lot easier than taking it off. Um, to where having a pick set can make your life a lot easier trying to remove old O-rings 
and uh, even gaskets, right? Stuck, stubborn gaskets, pick sets come in handy, uh, 1,000%. I actually wanted to open these and show y'all um, just to get a better idea of what comes in the package here. So, I hope we're still recording, by the way. That would really suck if I wasn't, but let's go ahead and get into the box here of the Professional Precision Soft Grip Pick and Hook Set and see what we have inside. We have our trusty knife. We're going to cut the tape away from us. Jesus, I am trying to hurt myself today, I guess. Set that off to the side. And let's see what we have in here. First things first is a little bit of trash. Do I know how to open a box? Yes, I do. Nice. All right. Pulling this guy out. Comes with the blow molded case, which is very nice. Nicely protected, all nice and clean from factory, as you could expect. And uh, yeah. I do like this. I have grown to like my blow molded case uh, from the screwdriver and flathead uh, mechanic set that I do have. Um, it has treated me well. Uh, those tools are by far amazing. And uh, these handles are like the mini me handles of the flathead and screwdrivers that I do have from Icon. I think that's kind of cute. but. Uh, giving you a side view here, up close, get an idea of what you can expect. Nicely packaged, a nice spot for every single one. The nice thing too is that they give you enough room, it looks like, to where you don't... Yeah, that's perfect. To where you don't need to have any of the picks in a specific area. If you're moving picks around, you can literally shift them around however you want in this little blow mold case and uh, they won't, you know, like kind of stack on top of each other or be in the way. So it doesn't matter the orientation of which pick you put where, it'll work in any spot. That is very nice. I do like that a lot. So hopefully y'all can see that maybe one more time. I know I shoot in wide angle mode, probably not the best for showing off stuff like this, but just so you get an idea at the very least. But yeah, that is the pick set. Very nice. I'm excited to, you know, have these on standby whenever I need them. But we're actually going to put these back in the box uh, because obviously I'm going to be taking them to work and I would like to uh, have them in their boxes when I take them to work so that way they're protected when I uh, move them from here to work. So one more time, the Precision Soft Grip Pick and Hook Set from Icon. Can't say it enough times in this video. Lifetime warranty, so if they ever go out on you, take it back. They will replace it for free. How awesome is that? The next thing, uh, which is not replacing anything that I currently have, but I have found myself, once again, just thinking about certain scenarios that I could be in to where I was like, man, having these would just be a godsend and help me so much doing a job where I'd be in that scenario, right? So this is the professional mini screwdriver set, once again from Icon. And uh, I've been thinking about getting these ones for a while. I think the, the main thing was me waiting for the price to go down on them. Um, I wanna say I paid $18 for these and I don't think they've ever been more than $20. Um, they may have stayed the, the same price the entire time and I just, I'm an idiot and I don't remember clearly, but I finally decided to pull the trigger on these and, uh, well, once again, because I could see myself in situations where I would need it and, uh, for it to save my life, right? So we'll open this box too and show you in detail what they look like. The nice thing too is that just like the bigger brother to this set right here, which would be the uh, Masters uh, Phillips and Screwdriver uh, Phillips and Flathead set, which I have a video on. That one is an ASMR video, so if you're looking for 
nice auditory senses of uh, relaxation, go give that video a check. And uh, anyways, those are the big brother, this is the little brother, and the little brother is here to hang out with the big brother, so. I don't know where I was going with that. You're welcome. But we're going to open it up and check it out. See what we got inside. Every time you open one of these damn things, these little flaps, always, uh, always fall out. Interesting. Nice. So not too far off of being the same size as uh, the blow mold case uh, of the pick set. This is a little bit bigger, but uh, here you have the set. You get two Phillips and two flatheads, which is, I mean, plenty. And then removing the uh, protective case top there, uh, we'll show you in uh, a little bit more detail. No, no, no glare or reflection of uh, the portable AC unit that is uh, being what you're propped on. Um, one, to keep me cool because my AC is uh, broken and uh, won't be fixed so hopefully tomorrow because um, goodness gracious it is hot as heck outside and uh, luckily this portable AC unit has been putting in the work and keeping uh, at least this room nice and cool. So let's pull one of these out, man. Um, first and foremost, like I said, this is the little brother of the uh, larger Phillips and uh, flatheads from Icon and they have the same style grip just much smaller but it still has grip like the, the grip itself is still the same material feels good in the hand uh, it doesn't feel like I'm gonna slip on it whenever I'm gonna you know be using it but I mean it's probably not gonna focus on the tip of that but that is super small and there are these I found most useful for electronics dealing with trim and just electronics in general. A lot of them tend to use small screws. And the last thing that you want to do is uh, take a power tool, let's say like a, uh, like I've got a snap on drill that has an adapter for uh, all of my drill bits. Um, drill bits and then Phillips, flathead bits, Torx bits, all that stuff, right? Uh, but the last thing you want to do is use that on, you know, an electronic piece of, of, of equipment and uh, potentially strip or ruin the threads. Um, maybe it's really in there and you take your gun to it and, uh, you know, your gun twists because it's so on there. And uh, you, you, you just there's a possibility of messing something up. So having this smaller set to get on those, whether it's flathead or Phillips, um, gives you the sen uh, sense of relief that you're not gonna, you know, mess something up compared to using a power tool. Uh, and then the other thing is you're using what I call the right tool for the right job, and you can't go wrong with that. So uh, this, by the way, is the slightly larger flathead, still very small, really do like that. And then you have the larger of the two Phillips, which this is honestly a great size. I want to say this is equivalent to a PH2, I want to say. I want to say this is equivalent to a PH2. Um, that just meaning the size of the head. Um, and then this smaller one, I can imagine is a ph1 or maybe even smaller but uh just to get an idea that thing is tiny super tiny but it feels good in the hand it's got the grip you know i know i know you know with certainty whatever it is i'm trying to uh break loose uh with this i know that i can get on it and enough grip to have some torque with my wrist and my hand to get it loose and just do what I need to do, right? Hiccups, man. By the way, uh, probably a lot of this won't be edited out very raw. That's how I tend to keep my videos most of the time. So um, you get the commentary, I will say that. So hopefully y'all enjoy it. But 
that was the, uh, they call this professional <laughs> mini screwdriver set. I'm excited to use these. Um, I know that these will come in handy most definitely from time to time. So glad to finally add these into the arsenal. And then the last thing, um, kind of going with the uh, screwdriver set, uh, but this is the locking flex head and ratchet bit set from Icon. Nice box, nice presentation here. Slim locking flex head ratchet for hard to reach areas. Extension can be used to lengthen the bit driver or be converted to a T handle for added torque. That's pretty sick. 32 bits include Torx, slotted Phillips, hex, and posi drive. I've never heard of posi drive. That's that's new to me. I never heard of that. Um, but anyways, super excited to have this. Uh, I can give one last story. Hopefully, I know you guys probably hate my stories, but as I'm opening the box, I'll I'll go ahead and share. Uh, as of the other day, I had to remove and replace a side and front panel on a driver's seat. And on the front panel, on the right side, there was a Phillips screw. And you've got probably this much about, uh, clearance from the screw to the side of the center console. So really, no room. And I was trying so hard with the tools that I had to get that sucker loose, but it was just so tight on there that I could not get it off without removing the four bolts of the seat itself to move the seat back and up to where I can, uh, I can get one of my uh, stubby screwdrivers on that screw and, and get it off. That was unfortunate um, that I had to deal with that. So I was thinking, hey, imagine if I had this during doing that job and that this would be just enough and all of the clearance that I need to get that screw out for that, that you know, trim piece that I was having to deal with uh, without having to take all bolts off and do all this extra work and waste all this time. Um, that's, that's one of the reasons why I got this nice to have in tight areas where big tools don't belong so this was a little on the pricier side this was like 45 dollars um and i i can understand why um first off it comes in a very nice sleek um very grippy case uh presentation of the case itself is very nice um it looks high quality it feels high quality and um Let's see, how do we open this? Just slide and lift. Okay. And then right off the bat, I mean, you're presented with everything there. And uh, everything's got its own spot. Everything looks nice. Um, and everything is super tiny. Um, sorry with the ums. I, I need to chill out on that. So I got big hands trying to work these big hands in this small box is uh not easy but all right we got that out and we got that out we're gonna do some testing here so we have two different options here we can slide this like that and then we have additional uh leverage for uh torquing or um you know breaking loose you've obviously got the ratcheting Very nice, I do like that. And um, it's also a locking flex. So you've got this button right here to adjust. And then once you let it loose, it stays locked in place. So if you're working at an angle and you don't want it to move on that angle, you can have it locked in place, which is very nice. The other thing is that you can use this and slide this through just like that and use it as a wrench there or a ratchet sorry or wrench one or the other it don't matter uh it will not work on the other side so it only works on one side got it and yeah i mean dude this thing is super tiny uh 
I would say this, you probably want to be careful. Uh, you don't have a lot of leverage here. I think you would be better off having this at the bottom and then say, uh, like that screw that I was dealing with, right? Let's say I want to get that screw right there. Perfect. Look at, look at, just, just look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at that. That is slim. This would have been perfect for the scenario that I'm in, especially since you've got the little uh, locking flex head. Like I could just have gotten in there, slight bend, break loose. Oh my goodness, man. I, I really lost out on this opportunity uh, when I had ran across that situation. This is blowing my mind. I'm just finding new and innovative ways to make jobs easier. Um, and not so hard on myself. Um, that's, 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 that is the way I think about things just about every day. <laughs> but this is super neat. Uh, there was a technician that did work um, with me at, at one point that did have this uh, set. And uh, he didn't let me ever borrow it. But I did see it and I was like, man, that's kind of cool. I think I'd like to get one of those. And sure enough, now I finally have one. So, And then to close it up clips right into place. You want to open it up, slide it to the right, and lift up. Simple as that. So this is kind of a long video. I do apologize if um, I'm boring in any manner. And if you clicked out of this video at any point in time, I 100% understand. I know I'm not the most entertaining person in the world, uh, but I just enjoy sharing stories. I just enjoy sharing the experience with all of y'all of... Uh, New and exciting things for me. Obviously, working on cars is a passion of mine. Um, not only a passion, but it is my career. And I plan on doing this for hell. I mean, if it's a lifetime, it's a lifetime. Uh, obviously, I would like to, you know, one day retire. But even re when retirement comes, I'll still be working on cars. This is a passion. This is a love. It's a hobby. It's a career. I'm doing it for, you know, eternity, basically. Whether I'm getting paid for it from working a job or if I'm getting paid for it from doing a side job either way I'm still getting paid um because ain't nobody do ain't nobody do work on vehicles for free okay that's that's not how it works <laughs> eh, eh. not happening but I go off on rants I go off on stories if you guys have somehow miraculously stuck with me stuck through the stories stuck through all the goofiness that I uh tend to somehow cause uh i appreciate you very much thank you for tuning in with me thanks for hanging out with me thanks for listening to me uh, i appreciate you guys very very much hope uh all of you kind of got a good glimpse of everything that i have picked up today as these tools are a, an investment uh to myself and obviously to the entire tool collection that i have uh one having the right tool for the right job and two um just making life easier you know that that goes neck and neck with having the right tool for the right job so i appreciate you guys very much for tuning in once again if you watched throughout the entirety of this video without any skips you are a real one you're an og i absolutely appreciate you you are the most biggest reason why i continue to make these videos because um I guess you find these entertaining. I, I hope that you wouldn't uh, force yourself to uh, not skip as if you were trying to uh, prove a bet that you can go through watching one of my videos without skipping. So um, I promise I'm not that bad. At least I don't think. But once again, I appreciate you guys for viewing. If you like the video, please don't leave without leaving a like. Um, feel free, like I said in the beginning of the video, comment questions concerns leave it in the comment section down below i'm more than happy to chat with all y'all and if you haven't already subscribe if you like this type of content i love doing unboxing videos review videos um i want to get more into working on hand on hands with the cars and making videos there so uh, more content coming soon if you're into that kind of stuff feel free to subscribe it is free it helps keep me motivated to continue to make those videos and uh yeah, thank you again so much for all of you tuning in, viewing, watching. Hope you all enjoyed. 
My name is Caleb, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.